Hi friends, many a times in electrical circuit, it may happen that a lot many circuits elements are given. More number of resistances, voltage sources and current sources. And we are supposed to find out current or voltage across a particular branch given in a circuit. So, at that time, it is better if I reduce that circuit into a simple one and a basic law which we call as Ohm's law can be applied to get whatever they have asked either a current or a voltage. So, here we are going to learn a new theorem called as Thevenin's theorem. So, it states that it is possible to simplify any complex linear circuit to an equivalent circuit with just a single voltage source and series resistance connected to a load, where voltage is called a Thevenin's voltage obtained between terminals where load is connected after removing load and a value of resistance called as Thevenin's resistance which is obtained between same terminals after removing load and replacing all the power sources with their internal resistances. So, lot many things are involved in this particular theorem. Let us see one by one. So, the important concept is that what is the meaning of Thevenin's voltage and how it is obtained and second Thevenin's resistance again how to get that. In order to understand the meaning of all this, let us take a simple numerical. So, I will consider a generalized circuit like this. With two batteries of V1 and V2 voltages and resistances, I will consider R1 and R2. Let us consider this is a load resistance RL through which we are supposed to find out the current. Okay. Let us apply Thevenin's theorem to it, whatever a statement is saying. So, what statement is saying? Wherever the load resistance is connected, those two terminals we need to focus and ultimately we have to do analysis such a way that this circuit will be reduced into a simple circuit like this. Between points A and B because load resistance is connected between A and B. And we will consider this resistance as RTH and this voltage as VTH. TH stands for Thevenin's voltage, Thevenin's resistance. After reducing the circuit into this, you need to connect load resistance to this circuit. Our objective is get the current I L. If I know the circuit, it is very simple to get I L. So, I L nothing but V T H divided by R T H plus R L. R L is known to me. Now, the only concept left is how to get V T H and how to get R T H. So, the first thing calculation of V T H. Let us go back to the statement. What they are saying? Thevenin's voltage is obtained between the terminals where load is connected after removing load. So, load is connected between points A and B. To get a VTH, I need to remove RL. So, while calculating VTH, we have to remove RL. So, if I remove RL from the original circuit, the circuit will look like this. Leaving behind these two terminals open A and B. Rest of the part of the circuit 
will be same v1 v2 r1 r2 and what they are saying you need to solve a problem such a way that you will get here voltage which we consider as vth to get vth you can use any of the technique either a mesh analysis nodal analysis or circuit reduction technique so for calculation of vth we can use mesh analysis nodal analysis and a circuit reduction technique which we call as source transformation any of these techniques you can use depend upon the expertise that you are having in a particular method so once you got the vth now left calculation of rth let's go back to the statement whenever you have to find out the rth which is the thevenin's resistance you have to remove load at the same time replace all power sources by their internal resistances here most of the time we are dealing with ideal sources ideal voltage source and ideal current source so while calculation of rth first thing you have to remove rl and second most important thing since i said we are considering only ideal voltage source and ideal current source so i can write voltage source ideal one if i consider that its internal resistance is zero so voltage source should be replaced by zero resistance means it is short circuited current source ideal current source have infinite resistance as a internal resistance so infinite resistance means open circuit so current source should be replaced by open circuit so doing this modifications to the circuit that we have consider i will get a very simple circuit now so v1 is a voltage source i shorted we are not having any current source let's remove rl also v2 is also short circuited so i have r1 and r2 if i see closely i'll come to know the r1 comes in parallel with r2 in order to get rth which is between these two points in general you may have to use series parallel or star delta conversion of resistances star delta conversion in order to get rth once you got the rth and vth you are supposed to use this formula to get current flowing through load resistance so that is a trick in the thevenin's theorem the first thing is very important get a vth second get rth once you got vth and rth just connect them in series so that will become a thevenin's equivalent circuit and to the thevenin's equivalent circuit you just connect a load resistance and using a simple ohms law you will get current flowing through that particular load resistance in subsequent videos we will see application of thevenin's theorem while solving a problem thank you